Our next company hails from Estonia, and they came to us with significant market traction in Europe and other places. And they told us that the reason they were coming to Baltimore was to establish a presence in the U.S. And the East Coast as they ramped up their marketing efforts. But we suspect that it was to escape that harsh Estonian winter. How'd that work out for you, Andres? Not so much? Well, regardless of the weather, they've got a very bright, sunny future ahead of them. Introducing Cognus. Just for the record, I'm the PhD student from the bar. So, did you know that 5% of people currently between the ages of 45 and 64 will get a stroke in the future? The total cost of those strokes to the U.S. economy alone in the year 2030 will be $240 billion. My name is, my name is Anders Melik. I'm the CEO and founder of Cognos, a mobile brain health company. And this, this is Tom. Tom is 65 years old and he recently suffered a stroke. He's now one of the millions of people living with the devastating effects of impaired cognitive function. In his rehabilitation process, Tom sees numerous clinicians, each dealing with a specific aspect of his recovery, but he gets confused with all the exercises they assign to him. His family has no clear overview of his progress, and Tom is getting increasingly demotivated as he doesn't understand how each exercise is contributing to his recovery. All of this is putting a huge burden on everyone involved in terms of time, logistics, and financial cost. Cognos's sole mission is to reduce that cost and that burden. With our products, Tom goes through standardized, digitized assessments at home and at the clinician's office to establish his baseline function. Is this then assigned a personalized training plan that he can actually follow from anywhere? Tom receives text-based alerts and automated phone calls that notify him when a test or exercise is due. He's introduced to a set of evidence-based, engaging, serious games pertaining to real-life themes that he can now perform his therapy from anywhere on mobile and desktop devices. While doing so, his caregivers and family members have a clear overview of his progress and can actually have the comfort that Tom is following his rehabilitation plan. In the process, Tom is educated on his condition, how he can aid his own recovery, and how he can prevent future strokes from happening. While we're creating this continuum of care from hospital to home, we're doing it in a multifaceted and convenient way. Patients see the value in, ex in these exercises. In an early clinical trial in Germany, we demonstrated that they actually increased their adherence to the rehabilitation plans when given the freedom to do so after the clinical study had ended. Physicians report that patient-centric at-home exercising not only improves the quality of care, but also incurs up to 25% time savings in the clinician's working time. Introducing these innovations to our customers is one thing, but we're able to do that in an iterative manner which is very important in terms of the workflow of the clinicians, so that we only introduce the new functions and features to them when they are actually ready for them. The market for these solutions is huge. While there are about two million brain injuries and strokes in the US per year, our products are actually applicable to a wider range of neurologic and neurodegenerative conditions, such as Alzheimer's or mild cognitive impairment, the annual spend of which is a whopping $26 billion right now. Our addressable market is brain health software, which was only a $200 million market nine years ago. It's now estimated to be a $2 billion market and will grow to be a $7 billion market by the year 2020. In order to capture that market, we are working with two business models. First and foremost, an enterprise sales model to large providers with 800 to 1,000 patients annually. We expect the licensing cost for that provider to be around 100,000 US. We're also working on a handover process that in a post-reimbursement setting, the patients can actually continue using our product for a monthly, low monthly subscription. In order to accomplish all this, we have a talented and robust team behind this. I used to run an e-learning solutions business for 10 years. 
with customers in five different countries. Dan, our chief of the technology, was the youngest employee at Skype during his time there. Olari ran and sold two internet and mobile technology companies, and as well, we have the best neuropsychological and regulatory people behind our company. We're now working with Johns Hopkins University and Medicine on projects pertaining to neurology, geriatrics, and rehab. We're also working with the Janssen Labs out of San Diego, where we have already presented to all the major large health systems. From our past successes, our products are being used at 15 different institutions in Europe and Japan. And not at the least, we already have 300 satisfied patients on our consumer model that we piloted just four months ago. And by the way, we got another paying customer this morning. It's about $25 per month. <laughs> Going forward, we're looking for a $700,000 $700, first round investment, out of which $400,000 has already been committed. We will use that investment to integrate our products into 15 large providers in the US and to fully launch the consumer model here as well. We expect that investment to take us to an approximately $2.8 million run rate by the end of 2015. We would first like to thank all the partners at Dreamit, all the collaborators, uh, our mentors, Ken, Rich, DLA Piper, for being such a great help. And we, we don't want to stop here with our solutions. If you feel that prevention, assessment, rehabilitation are huge matters in stroke and brain injury and other neurological conditions, please come see us, whether you are as an investor or a clinician or just a partner, and let's discuss further. Thank you very much.